Amazon Luna has now been available outside of America for a little over a month, and I'm here to give you my honest impressions and thoughts after using it for some time. On one hand, it's an extremely impressive streaming service that I would rank number two in quality right behind GeForce Now. But on the other, I've already decided to cancel my subscription to the service, at least for the time being. I'm here to explain why, so let's begin by talking about the overall gameplay experience. Now when it comes to a cloud gaming service, I gotta say this is a pretty important factor, and this is something that Amazon Luna completely nails. Playing games via the service feels exactly like it should, playing a game locally and that's something I'm very happy to report on. After all, there's nothing worse in a cloud gaming service than not being able to provide an enjoyable experience that's up to par with your expectations when it comes to playing an individual game. At no point during any of my gameplay did I suffer from heavy latency issues or any sort of artifacting that popped up on screen. The experience for me was very much so on par with what I would come to expect from the likes of GeForce Now or Google Stadia when it existed. More so than that, it's certainly a step up from both PlayStation Plus Premium and Xbox Xbox Cloud Gaming's offerings, at least when it comes to gameplay, but more on that in a sec. For now, let's focus on the visual clarity. As of right now, Amazon Luna is still restricted to 1080p streaming. There is no 4K option, and even though it was promised on the way a while back, we haven't really seen any sort of progress on that front. It's a bit disappointing to see this be the case, considering GeForce Now now fully offers that resolution, and even Stadia, when it did exist, also offered 4K streaming. I guess for now, we'll just have to wait and see if eventually Amazon Luna does support 4K streaming and how they end up pricing that out. But for the time being, I will say that the 1080p experience is pretty solid. Now when it comes to features, Amazon Luna actually has quite a few worth talking about. You can use a phone as a controller to play on a TV, being subscribed to Amazon Prime gives you 4 games rotated on a monthly basis, but the standout feature to me has to be something called Luna Couch and it's something that, as far as cloud gaming services go, is exclusive to Amazon Luna. For those of you who don't know what it is, basically it allows you to play local split screen games online with friends by just sending them a code. It's basically a session token that allows them to have their own Luna stream of the same instance where you can play together despite the distance between you two. It works incredibly well, I used it with two other friends of mine to play Super Monkey Ball and I gotta say, it just is a pretty killer feature. These are friends who normally wouldn't really interact with much of cloud gaming due to having their own gaming PC setups, but hey, they already have an Amazon account, so convincing them to copy and paste the code on a URL was a lot easier to get them to play on the cloud than trying to sell them on the whole cloud gaming aspect. Genuinely an awesome feature and something I hope other cloud gaming services really look into because I do think this would help spread the word of cloud gaming quite a lot. It's simply an awesome feature, but it's not the only one. In addition to being able to subscribe to multiple channels to access a catalog of games, you can also connect your Ubisoft account and use games you already own on Ubisoft Connect. It's very similar to the way GeForce Now works, I will point out you do need to have an Amazon Prime subscription to access this feature, but once you have it, it's pretty sweet. I think giving players the options on how they decide to buy their games and play them via the streaming service is the way to go, so I would hope Amazon Luna plans on doing more of this with other publishers in the future. But now let's switch topic and talk game catalog. Amazon Luna currently features over 160 games on the service, but not all of them are included a part of the Luna Plus subscription. Initially, that may sound like a pretty decent number of games, but in reality, I find it extremely lacking. According to CloudDosage.com, it puts it at the lowest offering of any other cloud gaming service out there, and by a significant margin. Even compared to Utomic, who's a much smaller company in comparison, it's lacking titles. I will say they have a nice selection of games from Capcom and Sega, but that doesn't really make up for the lack of games. And a lot of what's already on Amazon Luna, if you've been playing games all this time, are probably games you've already played. And ultimately, this was the reason I decided to cancel my subscription within the first month. While I'm more than happy to admit that it is a great service and one that I can definitely see the value of, it's going to be very dependent on you and your experience when it comes to playing games. For me, a lot of the games that are on Amazon Luna that speak to me are titles that I've already played, and those that aren't, aren't necessarily things I'm interested in. More so than that, the current subscription model that Amazon Luna offers doesn't really see new games get added all too frequently. And I do need to bring up the fact that in the last few months, more games have left Amazon Luna's catalog than have actually come in. All of this combined is what led to me canceling my subscription just after subscribing for a month. It's not that I don't see value in Amazon Luna. I think for certain people out there, especially for families, it's a pretty good subscription. There are a lot of family-friendly titles, and I will say that the catalog is pretty varied. 
But if you consider yourself a core gamer or somebody who likes to keep up with the latest in gaming, then this service just doesn't really speak to you. The big games you want to see or play are probably going to take some time to show up, and unless you're interested in new indie games, you probably won't see much of new games released day one. Ubisoft games are really the only exception here, and even then, they're pretty much available on every other cloud gaming service out there. Well, personally, I do have hopes that Amazon Luna will turn things around. In fact, I'd like to believe that they're in a sort of ramp up phase right now. After all, they've just launched into new markets, they've added the Ubisoft Connect streaming thing, and they condensed the Luna Luna subscription channels from Retro, Family and Friends, and Luna Plus all into one. All three of those decisions I would consider really good changes. Hopefully we'll continue to see those sorts of changes going forward and maybe the introduction of other ways to buy games to play them on the service. At the end of the day though, these are just my thoughts on Amazon Luna, let me know yours down in the comments section below. Now if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great day. This has been the Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.